Hey YouTube, today we're going to be going over the top 10 moves I think you need to learn to punish in Street Fighter 6. These moves are generally very, very strong if you're a beginner player, but once you learn the secrets behind how to beat each of these moves, they become less strong. If you know the counter, it can make your life against these characters that much easier. And the first character we need to talk about is Honda. Now this move right here, it's a safe on block headbutt, right? And it starts up really quick, and you see it has a 14 frame startup, which means that you cannot uh, react to it unless it's like you're like max distance, right? So you might think like, oh, I can like try to hit her out. Um, unless you're like this far, you're not gonna hit him out, and it's like it's, it's kind of sus, right? So it depends on the distance that you're doing this headbutt, right? If you're like really far, you can do DI. But if you're really if you're close. They can actually they can actually block there, right? So let me uh, let me show you what that looks like. And then, which means if they can block, they can DI back, which means you die. So you have to be really careful about DI, right? So in my opinion, you want to use a mix of DI from like full screen, right? Like if you, if you can react and they're really just being predictable. The second option you need to do is learn how to perfect parry, right? And uh, option, uh, well, I actually did on my first try. If you can react with perfect parry against this, it's it's a lot easier. And now Honda can beat it out with a like a light headbutt. So let's say like you're in this range and then you parry. Honda still has like a really hard time punishing that because they have to have, like walk up throw. But this is really risky because then you can just whiff punish the and this is a punish counter and you get you get tons of damage, right? So playing the parry, playing the DI game is is generally gonna be worth it for you in the long run because if they're if they're really trying to bait it out, it, it takes a lot of risk, right? The third thing you can always do against these like horizontal moves is you can just try a neutral jump or i guess in the case if you think he's gonna do the heavy version you can just like do a preemptive back jump and you can get a punish but you can use a well-timed jump right so i recommend those things uh di drive fairy and jump i don't recommend trying to hit him out because you're just gonna get hit the second move is honda's butt slam now this move is annoying because it is plus on block which means that if you block, it's their turn. Now, there's a few things you can do against this. One is you can actually just anti air it, right? So I can uh, I can time my crouch heavy punch correctly and get the anti air, but it is tough. It is legitimately tough. I have to I have to be very precise with the timing. But it is a punish counter, which means that you get a full combo uh, depending on your character for actually anti airing it. So it's very high reward if you're able to call that out. That being said, Honda can bait it out, right? Because this this uh, Sumo Slam is actually steerable. Now keep in mind that he has different versions that are one slower than the other. And so you can make the crouch heavy punch with. So there is uh, you know, a little bit of guessing. The other thing you can do is you can do a delayed drive impact if you're at the race base, right? So you have to you have to delay it almost to like when he's falling down. And if you do it too early, I'll just whiff. If you do it too late you'll just you'll just block but if you do it just as he's falling down you'll get this punish counter and that you know it the, it worked because you got the punish counter and you get a full combo right so between those two options that's pretty much you're going to go for you can also go for parry too it's pretty safe but again it's it's pretty hard to time that perfect parry because of the variable timing so i recommend just going for that i suppose you could also air to air as well i think this requires a uh, a lot faster reaction see I'm, I'm actually getting beat out here but if you know it's coming and you you know you got the sherry gun this is the safest option to go for the, the third move that i think is really annoying to punish is blanca ball so this move is crazy good that's minus 15 so you think oh let me just punish on block yeah you can't do that right even with someone like kim that has like the like a crazy good slide you can't do it right now I think some characters are able to punish with super. I don't quite know who. I, Kimberly's not one of them. As you can see, this is not gonna work, but I, I, I have to imagine some characters can punish with super, so learn that if your character can. But if you can't punish with super, what are your options, right? You could try to hit him out. It's, again, just like Honda Headbutt, it's really tricky. So JP, for example, can do two medium punch on reaction to the Blanca Ball. And like, you know, sometimes you won't get it, but if you do get it right, you get a combo, which is, which is really good. And I think you can spend EX here too. And you get, you guys get some pretty nice damage for punishing that Blanca Ball, right? Um, you have to figure out what character of yours has the best disjoint um, in order to in order to exploit that. The other thing you can do is you can try neutral jumping. Again, it's, it's a little tough. You have to kind of back neutral jump on reaction and 
even then you can see like unless you have like a cross of hitbox yeah so if you if you jump back on reaction but that's that's really tough right because like all our bunkers aren't gonna be doing that full screen the other thing you could do is perfect parry so if you perfect parry like it's gonna whiff right but what you have to actually do is you have to perfect parry uh eventually i'll get it and then you could drive rush cancel and then you can get a punish counter by drive rush canceling the parry die phone post-production here so it turns out there's another thing you can do against bunker ball and i think this might actually be my go-to for high risk high reward option which is do an extremely delayed drive impact so if you wait till the last possible second and i mean literally the last possible second the drive impact will hit in the air and you can get a full combo all right, so Kimberly Ford Heavy Kick. This move is the bane of people's existence because they'll do this stuff and you try to hit her out and you just get punished counter, right? Now, there's a very easy counter to it, which is just, you just actually just hit jab. And it beats all options that she can do from this. So you can actually just jab her out of the neutral jump in the beta you used to not be able to. The only thing that she can really do is she can she can back off and now you're just like, you're at neutral, right? The other thing that she can do, which is kind of big brain, is she could try to attempt the perfect parry. <laughs> and then she gets a punch, right? But that's really risky because if they if they go for that, you can just do like a delayed throw and they take over two, they take about 20%, right? And it's something you could just react to because they're point blank. Uh, the other thing you can do if you're really sweaty, you could try to perfect parry the uh, forward heavy kick. And if you put perfect parry the forward heavy kick, you get you get a full punch, right? She can't actually jump cancel it there. All right, so Marissa has a very very strong move, which is the Superman punch, right? This is a plus on block move. It low pro, it goes over lows. It forward advances. Uh, it's very very strong, right? And she has a few different versions she can mix up, right? So you can't always have the same response to every move. Now this is this is 25 frames, it's pretty hard to react to. In theory you could jab, but like it's it's really risky and if you get hit, you just you get counter hit, you get pushed to the corner, you don't want to be in the corner against Marissa, right? So what do you do? Now the obvious answer is if you're really fast, you can always get a punish counter uh, by drive impacting this, right? That being said, if you're a little slow, which is gonna happen during a match, you're gonna get drive impact back and you're gonna die. So you have to be really on point. Uh, that's pretty much all the advice I can give. If you want to be a little safer and you're not sure if you reacted like uh, appropriately, just go for the parry, right? But ideally, you're reacting, and then the the harder version they do, like if they do the heavy version, this thing, like even if you react late you're still going to be able to drive impact is it right so it also kind of depends on what version they're doing if they're doing the heavy version a lot then it's safer to drive impact and you know they're going to be doing the heavy version because like if they're from this distance they're they're going to want to close the gap right so if you're doing the heavy version always drive impact if they are doing the late version and you don't feel confident in your reactions try to drive parry do you keep in mind that di will not work against marissa's ex version you'll just get armor broken off a really bad time so you have a couple options one you can just try to re react to something air invincible or invincible the other option is you can try a perfect parry it um obviously perfect parry is going to be pretty hard but you see like at a high level i think people will be able to get pretty consistently Cammy actually has something very similar with her hooligan. So this light hooligan is actually minus and this heavy hooligan is plus, right? And there's a couple things you can do, right? Just like Marissa, you can try to jab her out of the move, but the light one's kind of hard to beat. But if they do the heavy, you'll, you'll actually get your jab punish, right? So against Spin Knuckle, um, what you should do is just honestly just block because she's going to be minus a lot of time. I, I think honestly your best bet against this move is just try to parry. And they're always doing the heavy version. Just try to try to knock them out of it. Yeah, you can also neutral jump, right? But I don't think you can. If I try to neutral jump this on reaction, like that's an easy that's an easy uh, anti. Um, the other thing from Cami that you should be aware of is this hooligan. So, I mean, pretty much anytime they go for hooligan, this is a free crouch heavy punch or a DP. The only thing you have to be uh, a little bit aware of, so they can do something like this. Like you, you go for that crouch heavy punch, and then they get the punish counter. So it's kind of scary. So I, I'd say you want to anti-air this, but also like don't be afraid to just jump back and like hit like a, uh, a button, right? So like even if they go for the regular mix-up and you go for a jump back button, 
right? You can hit them out of the hooligan on reaction, and you don't have to take that risk of getting hit by the fastball. You just gotta figure out what button is the uh, is the best for your character. All right, next thing I want to talk about is Jamie Rekka. I think it's like one of the easiest things you could do with him because you could just keep canceling this over and over, and you know, once you think you get the hang of it. <laughs> He's going to cancel into a frame chat, right? So the first thing you want to learn is this is jab punishable, which means on block you, you can hit a jab, but you have to be, your spacing has to be really good with jab. So keep in mind, this is minus six, which means you can press something like, for example, for Kimberly, your two MP will work at that range. Same thing with your five MP. So if you're ever in the range, that's going to work. Now they can always cancel it. And so there is a guess on block, but if you're in range, I'd say most of the time go for the punch because even if they get the hit, it's not the biggest deal. You don't take that much damage. But it's still a guessing game. And see, that's what happens if you mash. Of course, once this happens, you get a full punch. The other th the other advice I would give is, you know, know the range at where it can be punished. If it can't be punished, just like just check them with something like uh Right, just, just check them with like something that reaches. The other thing I'd say is if they are really insistent on doing this, these buffers, just drive impact. Get get that free damage. Because is, this is very susceptible to drive impact, but you have to do it preemptively. All right, eighth one we talk about, we're talking about Lily and we're gonna talk about this enhanced Condor Spire. It's very, very good. It's basically like the freest neutral skip, but it's also the freest drive impact. If you ever see her do that, it's only two hits. Just go straight into the drive impact, and this is a uh, guaranteed punish. It's plus, so you don't want to block it. That being said, she can, you know, just like Marissa and Cammy, if she does the late version, she can kind of bait it, but if your reactions are really on point against this move, right, it's not going to be baited. It's only if you're a little slow, so just make sure you train them reactions up. Now, Lily's EX Spire is a lot harder to deal with, so if I DI immediately, I'm gonna get armor broken. So you have a couple options. One is you can just try to react with something invincible, um, or air invincible in this case, or just try to DI at like this range and just have really good reactions. All right, number nine. These last two are gonna be just general tips against uh, game mechanics. And we'll use Gal, and I think a lot of people struggle with zoning, and what options do you have against something like this right now the most obvious is you want to be parrying these fireballs so you don't go in the burnout if you go in the burnout things are going to be very miserable and you're going to have a bad time right the other thing you could do is neutral jump so if you neutral jump you see how the second boom didn't come out there it's because you cannot throw two fireballs out at the same time on screen so if you're very careful with when you neutral jump then you can you kind of rush in and get your punish the second thing is you can try to go for a perfect parry. So what what I like to do is I'll perfect I'll go for a perfect parry and then I'll press a button. And that button will only come out if the perfect parry comes out. Yeah, so I got my slide out there. And I was able to uh, kind of punish the next fireball I uh, throw. You can also do stuff like, you know, you can you can jump, you can teleport, you can do a lot of different options after perfect parry. You just have to train the train the timing. But in general, like, you know, lower level, just neutral jump and try to uh, bulldog your way in and get a get a good timing on a jump. All right. The last thing that we're going to talk about is random YOLO drive rush. So as you guys have probably noticed, just drive rush and neutral is very strong. Um, I think the best way to one of the best ways to deal with it is with an invincible reversal, which unfortunately Kim doesn't have unless you do a super. And again, because they can't block during drive rush, that's a uh, that's a that's free damage, right? And the super is good. The issue is they can also super back if they haven't committed to a button, but that's pretty rare because you know most people aren't gonna like drive rush and not do a button. But ideally, you know. You're like you're just buffering a DP, and that's a that's a free DP. That's a free you know almost 2k damage if you ever see them drive rush. So that's what you should be looking out for. Um, the other thing is if you're really quick, you can jab it. Now they can try to jab back. They can also like put a longer range move in. So you you know you use a combination of like buff like buffer normals. Just like that, the punish you can you can try to jab it. You could try to uh, you can also try to parry it. Parry is really good if you think they're gonna overhead. You have a lot of different options against drive rush, but 
you do want to make sure you're challenging it if your reactions are on point um the other thing i'd say if anyone's ever doing like a three bar drive rush drive counter is very very good they they, they literally can't do anything against this because let's say they just try to block which is weird because like why would you spend three bars to block but if you time it right you can you can get punished they can block but it's, it's very unlikely they'll block so i think it's a really good option especially in the corner because like let's say you you, you drive reversal in the corner now you get you get it's your turn to play right so um very very good option um i think it's like one of the best uses of drive reversal is against that drive rush you should not di drive reversal because let's say they could just react and they can they can drive it drive impact back so like here's me drive impacting on yeah and you just die so yet yeah, in my my recommendation is don't drive at impact drive rush unless you have like a specific read anyways like share and subscribe if you want to see more content like this trying to help you guys out with street fighter 6 and your journey i've i've been a newbie at fighting games at one point and now how hard it can be to learn a new fighting game but if you keep you know learning more things day after day and continually getting better you will see improvement so i hope this video helped you on that and if you want to see more and this was useful please consider like sharing and subscribing anyways thank you guys so much for watching comment down below any additional tips and peace.